Hey guys, welcome back. This is Command Block Kid here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Spread Players command in Minecraft 1.14. So let's get started. First things first, it's easier done with more than one player. So I'm going to be using my alternative account, back at 2. So we're just going to be using my alternative account to help out with this to see where the average distance is for everything. Of course, you could still do this with one player, but this is far easier done with two or more players. So first things first, what you want to do is open up your chat menu or open up a command block. Oop, that's a barrier. Um, or type it. Why is my caps lock on? Spread, not spawn point. Spread players. Yeah. Then type in the center of where the command is going to execute. So in this case, it's going to execute directly at my location. The spread distance from each other. Or the minimum spread distance from this point is going to be 10. The next range is going to be 40. Now, now I'm going to be getting into some a little bit of a warning later on. Or I'm going to be clarifying a bit of confusion later on. But it's going to be in just like a moment. False for respect teams, so each so it will affect everybody. Targets is going to be at A. I highly recommend doing that so that it will affect all players and not just yourself or anything like that. And then yeah, so we're going to hit enter. And now it spread two players around uh, the, where I, I was with an average distance of 65.58 blocks apart. Now this is where some confusion came in. So it says up here, distance of 65.58 blocks, blocks apart. And this says maximum distance 40. Now this does not mean that you are that you are capped at like 40 blocks apart from each other. This is a circular radius that we're talking about. So it's basically how, much, how far the player distance is. So I could have been spread right here and then back here too could have been spread all the way on the other side of that building but from the looks of things it's behind something so I can't really see it so that is, clarify, should clarify a bit of confusion for you so next up what we have is a set of command blocks here this is for helping incorporate the Y coordinate although it's not really the best at doing so this is the best alternative you can do so we're gonna have run another spread players command around this command block like so and then we're also going to run an effect command that's chained so we're going to do slash effect give at a again that is for all coordinates or sorry players minecraft levitation one second 30 se uh, 30 for amplifier and true for hiding particles now if if i haven't said so already i probably did but in case you didn't hear there's no y coordinate here so we have ourselves the x and z coordinates the x coordinate represents the east and west axis and this represents the north and south axis the z coordinate as like so so you can't really change the height on that it's really darn difficult so you know the best way to do this with multiple players is to apply a levitation effect command so as you can see, it gave us like a really high boost for like jumping and whatnot. I'm going to run it again just to show you that it still works. And wherever back at 2 went. Oh, there he is. I'm just going to teleport him. Like so. And yeah, so that is the spread players command all wrapped up. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!